Okay, so when did using a reference manager suddenly start to get so easy? So I'm just going to quickly demonstrate a couple of little tricks that, that I do to import stuff using Google Scholar or PubMed, which is a medical and scientific database. So RefWorks, I really like. It's a free referencing managing service that you can get off the internet, so you can set up an account, but you might have access through your your institutional organization so I can get to it through my university library if I click log on to RefWorks it might have already my passwords saved in so my university passwords and here we are this is what it looks like so literally as you scroll down you can see the different citations and full reference details that I've already put in so I'm just gonna leave that for now because part of what I'm doing is getting all the publications from my desktop into RefWorks. I've been very disorganized up to now. So I'm actually interested in some of these publications here. So what's this one? So this is a Tina Wilson paper, New Ways of Mediating Learning. So okay, I want to put that into RefWorks. I could type it all in, but you know what? There's a quicker way. So what I do quite a lot, I've copied that going to go to Google Scholar, which is itself a great, great resource these days. I've just searched for that and it's come up. So that's the Tina Wilson article. You've got lots of options here for, for saving your citations. If you go to site, it gives you already the citation in different formatting conventions here. Here's the Harvard one. I've selected the Harvard one because that's the one my university advocates. And if I click RefWorks, what it has actually just done is imported that reference in for me so quickly, literally at the click of a button. So if I search for Tina, I can't remember her surname, who was she? Who was the great lady, Tina Wilson? Okay, well, in fact, I've got it in there already, haven't I? So here we are, new ways of mediating learning. Um, last imported. So that's the full reference that's now gone into RefWorks rather fabulously. Right, so another thing I might do, I might be using a different type of database. So this is PubMed, which is really for um, medical and health related publications, but I use it quite a lot. So I'm just going to see what there is on open education. Okay, this looks quite good. That's my phone ringing. So, um, there's various things you can do with PubBed, but if I want to get that into my reference manager really quickly, if I click the send to button, click citation manager, create file, what it does is create me a little data file. So on my Mac, I need to drag it to my desktop. This is, you know, it takes a few seconds, but it's still going to be mighty quick. So I've dragged that to my desktop. If I go back to RefWorks, now I can import, and you can use this import function quite a lot on other things. I've selected PubMed as my database. It defaults to the, the data format. And if I choose File and go to that citation file that I just downloaded, import. It's told me it's done it. I can't remember who it was. So it was Salvo. And here we are again. I have actually imported it already. Um, and here is the citation as it's gone in to RefWorks. So there you go. It couldn't be easier, could it? Um, importing citations and de um, details of references into RefWorks using Google Scholar and PubMed. So there you go.